Hello, I'm Richard Ridge for Broadway World. The famed Paper Mill Playhouse in Millburn, New Jersey continues their 75th anniversary season with the classic Lionel Bart musical Oliver, which will run from November 21st through December 29th under the direction of Mark S. Hobie. And I'm here in the rehearsal room to meet the company and bring you a sneak peek. <laughs> So you're playing Bill Sykes? I'm playing Bill Sykes. A bad guy. Bad guy, horrible guy, horrible, horrible guy, and uh, a fantastic character though. I, rem I remember watching uh, Oliver when I was a kid. Uh, uh, my sister and I would watch it over and over again, and the Bill Sykes in the movie was stuck in my mind, and it's such a powerful, I mean, every good story needs a, needs a really meaty good villain, and Bill Sykes is very much that. So take me back to the beginning. Oliver means a lot to you, this musical, doesn't it? Very much, very much. When I was a kid, uh, my sister and I would watch so many movie musicals, and I, I, and the one scene I, I really remember we played over and over again was the who will buy scene and we would my sister and I would walk around the house with strawberries and milk and who and strawberries, strawberries ripe and it just it, it was such a beautiful because also too because the kids in it and Oliver's song and, and where's love and I just it when I've never been given the opportunity to do the show and when this opportunity came along I, I just jumped at it and it's such a great um, theater and and everyone in the cast is just phenomenal and it's and it's during the holidays and it's it's a great family show for for the holidays. I think we all had the same childhood. Yeah. You no, know, when we wanted to go into show business or into the theater or whatever, exactly. Oliver is one of the best movie musicals ever. Ever. Yeah. Ever. I mean, you put, it's a combination of the great story, the great music, and then the kids in it. You know, I think between Sound of Music and Oliver and all the kids singing, uh, there's magic to that. And when you're a young kid who's Oliver's age at home thinking, oh, let me sing that. Let me try to sing that, you know, and um, I just, it's, 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 it's a dream come true to be able to be a part of the show and uh, with such a great theater and a great cast and, and we're having a blast we're having a blast so what is it like playing a villain it's so against type for you <laughs> well you know I, I've had one one opportunity to play a really nasty guy I, I um I did Martin Garam years ago like 10 years ago you know it's it's a it's it's a lot of fun first of all because he gets to chew the scenery pretty hard um, I, I've been telling all my friends and family that I'm, I'm spending the holiday scaring young children and if if I get a boo in my curtain call I know I've done my job um, it's great though and I think it serves the story so well so I have a really good time being as mean as as nasty as I can because it only makes Oliver's story that much more poignant and Nancy's character even that much more uh, heartbreaking so and working at Paper Mill love it love it it's my first time you know I think um, I, I almost worked there a couple years ago Mark asked me to come into a production about uh, a year and a half ago and I wasn't able to do it and so now I'm finally fulfilling uh, that promise to Mark and uh, it's been a, a, a fantastic fantastic ride so far so here we are all Oliver for the holidays. Yeah. How excited are you? Well, it's really thrilling. I mean, um, it's a great sort of family piece and the Dickens connection makes an instant holiday um, feeling for everybody. And we actually have a special surprise at the end of the show celebrating the holidays, which I'm not going to give away. You have to come and see it. So talk about all the boys where you found them. We had an audition in uh, at the theater in New Jersey. We had several hundred kids show up. The first kid showed up, I think, at 4.30 in the morning for a 9 o'clock call. And um, we were overwhelmed with the talent. So we have 18 local uh, young men from New Jersey who joined to make the company of 49. So it's, it's pretty incredible. And they're all terrific. I mean, they have such discipline, such focus. Some of them as young as 9 years old. And I don't feel like I have that much focus focus now. You know, let's talk about this, because Paper Mill is probably the only playhouse that does this. You nurture young talent that will eventually, hopefully, go on to something else. Talk about the importance of that. I mean, we're really, really thrilled. I'm so honored to be part of a theater that really values education, and our theater school and our education department is spectacular. And we've seen a direct link from those kids that come and study with us and move through the ranks and then appear on the main stage and go on to become stars and come back. I mean, and Hathaway is obviously the number one, but we were thrilled to open this year with Honeymoon in Vegas, starring Rob McClure, who was one of our little kids, won a Rising Star Award, was in our conservatory, you know, worked in the box office, 
was on the main stage, then went out and into the world and came back to star in this, which will be, you know, going to New York soon. So that whole cyclical thing is amazing. And for me, the education of the kids is great for them personally, and not that all of them need to be stars, but we want them to be arts lovers and patrons, theater goers, donors, you know. Um, I just think the arts make kids better people. And a dynamite cast. Thrilled. Thrilled to have Betsy Morgan and John Tracy Egan back. Thrilled to have Jose Lana with us. And David Garrison, who actually went to my high school. And when I was in high school, all I heard about was David Garrison, who was starring on Broadway in Day in Hollywood. David Garrison, David Garrison. So to work with him and to have that connection is amazing to me. And actually, Oliver was the first stage musical I ever saw. I was in sixth grade. I went to Freehold Borough High School and saw it. I didn't really understand it. And every time the lights went out and these people dressed in black would come and move the furniture around, I got angry because I couldn't see what they were doing. So I'm thrilled to actually revisit it now as a director and to have it on our stage. And talk about the rest of the season at Paper Mill. Oh, it's amazing. I mean, um, coming up after Oliver, we have The Other Josh Cohen, which was a huge hit off Off-Broadway at Soho Rep. Um, it's so exciting and, and really going to bring in, I think, a new audience for us. Um, and then we're following that with Rogers and Hammerstein's South Pacific, and we're ending with Greece. So it is a banner year. I mean, it's our 75th anniversary. In fact, today, November 14th, uh, Paper Mill is 75 years old. Today's our birthday. Happy birthday! Thank you, thank you. I'm gonna go to the theater now and get a piece of cake. There's a little ditty they're singing in the sea, especially when they beat all the gin. Yeah. If you got the patience, your own imagination will tell you just exactly what you want to hear. <laughs> So here we are. Welcome back to Paper Mill. How do you feel? I feel great. She's not to be trusted. This one. <laughs> Get out of here! Oh, so she's the one. Okay. <laughs> What's it like being home again? It's fantastic. It is just so good to be not only home, but to be performing at Paper Mill for the holidays and to be doing this show, which was focused on family and, and, and kids, and it's just great. Well, let's talk about this role. What a gorgeous role Nancy is. What's it been like working on her so far? Um, it's it's been fantastic and very different from my expected. I had I had ideas about maybe who she was, and as we've gone into rehearsal, um, her motherly instincts and and the determination with which she approaches her life pre Oliver, and then kind of what happens when she meets Oliver. It's been really exciting, and she's just a beautiful soul. She again sacrifices so much to give this boy a true family, what she never had. So it's been great. And what was today like for you, like performing these numbers for the first time for an audience? <laughs> it was insane. It was insane. Uh, it's, a, it's a tough number, but it's so much fun, and this company is so good, and the ensemble, they're just a blast. And to be up there with them and, um, and feel the support and the camaraderie, we're just having so much fun up on stage, so it's great. What makes this such a beloved musical? Well, I think that it's about, it's about family, and it's about um, that idea of finding, whether it's your true family or whether it's um, an adoptive fam family like Fagan's, gang um, to find the people you can surround yourself with that that really are going to take care of you and um, and make you feel happy around the holidays and happy in life and I think that I think that it has those values that people still value uh, still appreciate today and this beautiful score you get to sing I love ev every single song that I sing I was gonna say earlier today I think it's a fine life is my favorite song and maybe it's oompa maybe it's as long as he needs it's the reprise it's the as long as he needs me reprise definitely so they're all good so first of all welcome back to paper bill thank you very much how does it feel to be working 75th anniversary very exciting um, I'm lucky enough to have been been there t two times this year. So started the year and the end of the year, and I'm thrilled to be back because they're the nicest people, the greatest staff. Everybody's fantastic, and I'm thrilled to be in the production of Oliver. Talk about the role that you play. Play Mr. Bumble, who's the bad guy, a bad guy, one of the bad guys. Um, it's fun to be a bad guy and boss around the 16 little boys, you know, and give them dirty looks. They they don't really buy the dirty looks from me yet. They're you know they acted, but. Uh, 
So I'm not a threat to them. I have, I have a feeling. I have to find some way to be more threatening. <laughs> like, he's really funny. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then you get booed at your curtain call. Yeah, that's fine. It's Which fine. is great, right? I did, I did my job if I get booed at the curtain call. Exactly. They go, oh, that old man. <laughs> what do you love about this musical? Why is this so beloved? Well, I'll tell you. When I, I saw the film when I was seven years old, and uh, big film, we were just discussing uh, the fact that I saw it in New York, went to Trader Vic's afterwards. It was a big deal. And I have to say, it was probably my first crush. I think Nancy, Shaney Wallace was my first crush. Crush. Everything was named Nancy after that. The turtle, the, the gerbils, everything after that. So um, it's a favorite of mine. And, uh, it, you know, it, everybody's got Matilda now, and they had Annie for a while. Oliver's the original Annie and Matilda. It's the original family musical. So. In this life, one thing counts in the bank. Large amounts. I'm afraid these don't grow on trees. You got to pick a pocket or two. You got to pick a pocket or two. Boys. Yeah, got a pick a pocket or two. Large amounts don't grow on trees. You got a pick a pocket or two. Hey, show what am I to do it, my dears? What should we bring? So this is so exciting for us to watch today. What was it like for you performing these numbers for an audience for the first time? This is very daunting doing this bit of business, you know. Uh, you know, th those Fagan's boots are big boots to fill when you think of the people who've done it before. You know, uh, in in movies and 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 in Dickens itself. I mean, it's an incredible role. But um, you know, luckily it's got a great score, a great book, and and I'm surrounded by wonderful kids. Never work with dogs and children. Are there dogs in this one? Uh, no. <laughs> Lots of kids. <laughs> yes. There could be a dog. It's actually one in the script, but thank goodness we don't have one. But let's just talk about this beautiful score that Lionel Bart wrote. I mean, they're so character driven. They're so beautiful. Specifically the ones you do. And they're all faster than faster patter songs. <laughs> So, I can see my life passed before me. Every time it's like, oh, this is pocket, pick a pocket or two, okay, now I'm uh, reviewing the situation. You know, a wonderful character piece. But anyway, um, the, the score is so buoyant that it just sort of floats you along. It's one of those that you just sort of have to get out of the way and let it do the work, and it's fabulous. Yeah. And getting to work with director Mark S. Hobie, because you guys sort of have a history, same high school? Yes, it turns out. We're from the same town, the same high school, Jersey Boys. What are the odds? Exactly. Yeah. We actually crossed paths on the national tour of, of uh, Guys and Dolls back in 1992. And then here we are again, full circle. And just, it's 75 year anniversary paper mill. I mean, how great that is. Is it? Yeah, 75 years today. It's almost as old as I am. Oh, you got a lot more years to go. It says, says you. Says you. Says you. Yeah. Uh, I'm just looking forward to playing it for the first time. First time I've played my home state, actually. So that's pretty nice. I didn't know it was 75th. That's very nice. So hopefully the ghost of, of uh, you know, Clive Revel will come and sit on this shoulder. And the ghost of Lon Chaney will come and sit on this shoulder. And everybody else in between who, who played it. And uh, we'll have I saw Vincent Price do it. Vincent Price? Oh, my God. Price is a George. And John Carradine did it. Yeah. And, of course, Ron Moody in the Oscar-winning movie. So, you know. This is a bar set pretty high on this one, isn't it? They're all going to be sitting on your shoulders, don't we? Please, I want all the ghosts to come down and sit on me and whisper in me ear what I'm supposed to be doing. Now, I want to talk about Wicked. Wicked just celebrated its 10th anniversary. Tell me what that whole night meant to you and playing the wizard in that beautiful musical. Playing the wizard in Wicked is as close as I will ever get to being a rock star. I mean, no matter where, I did it on Broadway, on the road, you know, screaming, yelling, cheering, and the best role in show business ever. You make a fabulous entrance in this incredible Oz head. You sing a little song, you go back to the dressing room, you read War and Peace, you come out in the second act, you do a better number, you go back to the dressing room, you finish War and Peace, you come out, take a curtain call. It's great. And who needs a staircase and a red dress when you got the Oz head? It's just brilliant. This was so exciting. Thank you for opening your rehearsal room for us today. Oh, you're so welcome. Thank you for coming. It was good to have an audience that was, didn't, you know, didn't really know the show. We were a little nervous, but it was good. <laughs> so what was it like for you? The cast loved doing this. What is it like from a musical stage or choreographer standpoint? It, it's tricky. It was, a, you know, because you're dealing, you have a lot of young children, and, uh, but let me just say this, even though I was a little nervous with the young children, they are, fa they're fantastic. They, they're actually very professional, even the locals are very professional. They come in, they listen, they remember, they have great wranglers, so they keep the room very focused, and so it's, it was great. It's a challenge because it's not your, I was saying, not your down, typical down show that, you know, I've seen, song, and then a big production number where it's like really dancing. This show has to be more character driven, and movement has to has to be 
from that and because I have so many character people, people that are not necessarily dancers per se. So, but it's been fun, you know, I, I didn't know the show at all. Not at all. I remember the, I vaguely remember the movie. So for me, I like that because that way I have nothing to go, oh, to compare it to. I can actually think, I'm gonna start fresh, like as if it were a brand new show. So I love that. But I, I thought, what? I, reading the script, I was like, what are they saying? Because it's all in that cockney, it's like, what? But it's, you know, it was, it was a challenge. It was because the show, it has to be done so quickly. I didn't know the show, but I actually grew to love the show and I, more than I anticipated. So that was, that's a good thing. <laughs> It's such a beautiful show. This is such a beloved classic musical. Yes. Why do you think it is? Well, you know, it's funny. Mark Mark said something about it being about family, which, you know, because every different community has its family, the people in the lower class, but they are a family. They're, they welcome and consider yourself. They're welcoming in young Oliver. Fagan's gang, He, even though it's slightly dysfunctional, it's a family. Um, what I love about it is that through the course of the play, as we watch Oliver, we watch Oliver, we watch... He's the only one on that stage that has what we've all lost, and that's innocence and purity. And and there's no, there's not a minuscule amount of cynicism in him yet. And even the young boys who are Fagin's gang, probably, and you know what I say to the kids, I go, probably when you came to Fagin's gang, you were already slightly cynical, but yet Oliver has something that's, he, we see purity in him that we have all lost, and that's something that's so beautiful that he is, he's not judgmental. He listens, he takes everybody, even the bad guys, he, he's, there's something about him that's open and listens, and he's, and he's open to learn. And I think, to me, that's what I love about the show, to see that, you know, and what that does to other people during the course of the show. So, all right guys, how cool is this to be working on this beloved musical, Oliver? I mean, it's so amazing. I mean, I can't believe this is like a dream come true. I just, it's such an honor to be able to play the role Oliver. And for you, for Artful Dodger. Well, it's always been a dream role of mine to be the Artful Dodger. It's such a different character from what little boys my age normally play. So let's talk about so talk about your audition and your callback and how you found out that you got cast as Oliver. Um, so I went to the auditions about a month or two ago, and I I went to three callbacks, and so there are three sets of callbacks, and so my manager finally told me that I landed the part, and I have to say my smile was ear to ear. Okay, so what was the last number you did at your callback for Mark? Um, I did Where Is Love. And you were thrilled beyond belief when that phone call came in, right? Oh my god, I was crying. I was so happy. That's great. And for you? Well, my audition process was a little more simple. They were originally casting 18-year-olds um, for the role, like they did at Paper Mill 20 years ago. So I went in um, for an audition after they couldn't find an 18-year-old with um, a few other boys my age. Um, and it was one day I danced um, with Joanne, and then they called me back, um, and I sung Consider Yourself and read a scene, and they told me that day um, that I got the role. Isn't that cool? It, I was ecstatic. I didn't normally you would have to wait months or weeks or something, but I was, like Tyler said, ear to ear, yeah. smiling. So what do you love about this musical? I just like the energy that the musical brings. I mean, it's just like all the songs and all the scenes, they just bring so much joy to people's, people's life and, I don't know, just makes everyone happy. Uh, I totally agree with Tyler. I think it's such a brilliant show. The music, the choreography that Joanne brings and the directing that Mark does, it's just it's going to be a great show. So how cool was it today for you to sort of put these numbers together for the press? Um, it was it was a good experience. It was our first time performing for an audience. We've been doing run-throughs for like the past week and it, it was great to get some feedback, I guess, from some actual people. I feel the same way, actually. I think it's good that, you know, you can get the word out that it's happening, you know, all of ours happening, for, so people can come and see it. Come on, see it. Tell audience, come to Paper Mill, see Oliver. Come, come to, to Paper, Paper Mill, Mill see, see Oliver. Oliver.